Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Now I'm answering question number two from this um, specimen paper of the Cambridge 0580 IGCSE um, new syllabus, which is from 2025. Um, this question here is about significant figures. Again, this is the non-calculator paper. This particular question would not require a calculator in general anyway, um, but it's just a basic type of question about, as you can see, significant figures right so i'm going to go into a bit of detail to explain what significant figures are so we're going to write this number correct to four significant figures so we are rounding this to a particular place value now the place value that we're going to round this to is determined by the number of significant figures now a significant figure is the first non-zero number that you see as you're going from left to right in the number. So if you see the first number we see is a five, that is considered a significant figure. So we start counting the significant figures from that number itself. So you have one, two, three, four. This number here, this nine here, is the first significant figure over here, this first nine over here. That's the, that's the fourth significant figure, I mean, sorry. The fourth significant figure. That's the first, second, third, fourth. So we want to round to this place value. Now this place value is the nearest hundredth. Okay, it's, it's two decimal places basically, right? So what you do, I mean, there's different ways that people deal with this question, or questions like this. They would draw a line after this number and say, okay, the number after it is a number which is between zero and, uh, or between five and nine. So therefore the number before it is going to increase. So this number is, if this number was between 0 and 4, then this will stay as it is, and it'll be 57.39. As it's in between 5 and 9, this is going to increase by 1. So you have 57.3. Now this 9 is going to become a 10. There's no space for a 10 here, so you're going to carry 1 over. So it's going to be 57.40. Now, we must write the 0 here because it's been rounded to this particular place that is the place value it's forcing the fourth significant figure here is the place value is the second decimal place the nearest hundredth so we must write that zero there even though normally we would not write zeros at the end after all the numbers are finished after the decimal point but we must write it for us to get the marks here if we don't write it we'll lose the mark it has to be 57.40 because that is the fourth significant figure that is the place for the fourth significant figure all right so there's a few other um, issues I want to mention here. Supposing the question was 0 0.057399. In this case, the first significant figure would not be the 0, nor would it be this 0. It would be this 5. So then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and that would therefore be the fourth significant figure, and you'd have to write the answer as 0 0.05740, if that was the case. Well, of course, that's not the case here, but just showing you how to deal with when the first digit is not a zero. Um, there's also the case where, for example, you might have something like, um, it could have been, for example, uh, 57.03997. In this case, there's a zero here. Now, if a zero comes between non-zero numbers, then it is significant. So this would still be a significant figure, and that would be the fourth significant figure. Right, just to clarify some of the misconceptions that people have. Now, the way I really like to explain this question, actually, to be honest with you, is the following. So, basically, the, we're, we're rounding to the nearest hundredth, to, the near, to two decimal places. So, this number would be somewhere between 57.39 and 57.40. Those would be the two numbers, you know, to the four significant figures, or, two, or in this case, two decimal places, uh, which it would be between those two numbers. Now this number 57.3997 is going to be of course closer to this side. This would be 57.3 um, between 39 three nine and 3 and between 39 and 40 you can say 39.5 so 57.395. This is 57.3997 so of course it's closer to this number than it is to this number. Okay, so you can see that the number 57.3997 is closer to 57.40 than it is to 57.39.
Okay, if you look at the number line, that's what splits it in half. It's closer to this side than that side. That's why it runs, rounds to 57.40. Okay, so that's considering significant figures. And um, I guess that wraps it up. As I said, I'm going through these questions in a bit more detail. And of course, that should really take you just a couple of seconds to answer. But I want to explain and make sure people understand some of the different cases and different ways of thinking about the questions. Okay, so other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist, which will appear in this part of the screen at the end of the video. Um, that's the playlist for this paper. Other questions which deal with rounding, okay, in general, you can find in the playlist that will appear in this region. Um, so that will be rounding. Okay, I'll, I'll keep all the questions dealing with rounding, whether it's significant figures or decimal places, okay, or approximation. Okay, you calculations using approximation. I'll put them in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And the video that will appear in this region here will tell you how to use my channel to find those things you might be looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.